When performing a rope-to-rope -rope transfer with a casualty, uh, first we need to make sure that we have access to the ropes that we're transferring to. So as you can see, I've connected the ropes already into my harness, ready to go, so that I have access to them now. I, um, I have rescued the casualty, he's now hanging off me with two points of contact. So now for the, the rope-to-rope transfer. It's uh, important that we need a, a second descending device. So I'm going to place this in the direction on my D-ring next to the original descending device uh, in the direction that I'm travelling to the rope. So if it's to my left here, I'll place it to the left of the original descender. And not only will I pick up my ventral D-ring, I will also pick up the casualty's connection point, which is very important. Otherwise, when I transfer over to this descending device, the casualties um, will then be hanging off this carabiner, trapping this descending device off the bottom of this descending device and become quite messy and, uh, and clunky. So, as is the, as is the, the best practice in this scenario, is put the backup on first. Now have a spare backup on and a spare rope. The, uh, the, way, the ropes that I'm attaching to and transferring to. Connect the descender onto the new ropes. Now I can release the new set of ropes from the keeper that I have here on my harness. Because I have, I have those ropes. Now we can simply start transferring ourselves over, take up the tension in that line on the descending device on the new set of ropes, pull a little bit of tension through so that we are actually engaging a little, we don't want to drop too far down. Make sure that handle's locked. Now with the extra friction carabiner and the side D-ring, lateral D-ring, do that carabiner up, hold it up nice and tall. And we can now simply descend onto the new set of ropes. Until the new set of ropes are completely weighted. Obviously, we don't want to disconnect from the ropes until both the main line and the backup line on the original set of ropes until they're both slack. So now we have slack in both of those ropes. We know that we're completely vertical. Now we can take off these our devices off these ropes. First we'll take off the descending device. We can take off our backup device. We'll actually transfer this over to the new set. Now the new rope must also go through the extra friction carabiner. Been it done up. And where we go.